A long time ago, the city of Albuquerque, New Mexico, was home to an amusement park that catered to young and old alike. This short-lived park was based on a popular comic strip from three decades before. However, even after the park's demise, you can still hear references to it every year. For many, it's the phrase, you'll shoot your eye out. For others, it's the infamous, I want the official, Red Rider, carbine action, 200 shot, range model air rifle. Made famous in the Christmas comedy, A Christmas Story. Yes, that Red Rider was a popular rifle, and for a few short years, it was the focus of an entire amusement park. Here's the story, of Little Beaver Town. Red Rider, was a western comic strip, created by Steven Sleesinger, and artist Fred Harmon, which served as the basis, for a wide array, of character merchandising. Thanks to the popularity of westerns, the strip, quickly evolved into a multimedia empire, with comic books, radio, and more than 35 movies, and serials, not to mention toys, lunch boxes, and guns. Syndicated by, Newspaper Enterprise Association, the strip ran from Sunday, the 6th of November, 1938, through 1964. The story centered, around the capo, Red Rider, and his young Native American sidekick, Little Beaver. To today's viewers, the Indian boy, and his pidgin English, are an offensive caricature, but in the 1940s, people couldn't get enough. By 1960 though, the Red Rider's popularity, was waning, along with the rest of the western genre. Fred Harmon, the comics artist, and an Albuquerque resident, was undeterred. In an attempt, to mimic the explosive success of Disneyland, Harmon decided, the time was right, to build a western-themed amusement park, based on the Red Rider characters, in his booming hometown. Catering to exotic fantasies, of the Old West, Little Beaver Town opened in July of 1961, along Route 66, on the eastern border between Albuquerque and Carnewell. One half was set up, as an American Indian village, complete with teepees, and apache, eagle dancers. The other half was a western town, that featured the Red Bull Saloon, an art gallery, featuring Harmon's original drawings, and plenty of places to buy souvenirs. Actors played the parts, of lawmen and robbers, in the town's shootouts, which happened periodically throughout the day. The shootouts, often accompanied by humor, were one of the park's most popular draws. A small train ride, was popular among the younger attendees at the park. In the early 60s, Little Beaver Town, was the place to go with the family, if you were visiting Albuquerque. Visitors had their choice, of a ride in a stagecoach, or an old-fashioned steam train, chugging on the outskirts of town. Shootouts between Red Rider and Ace Hanlon occurred at regular intervals throughout the day. Sadly, both the comic strip, and Little Beaver Town folded in 1964. The amusement park, briefly changed its name to Sage City, and rented itself out, as a film set, and venue for rock and roll concerts. This didn't last either, and the park was soon abandoned. Over time, the western town, was defaced, damaged, and burned to the ground. Over time, the western town, was defaced, damaged, and burned to the ground. In 2010, 50 years after, Little Beaver Town's heyday, the city of Albuquerque, purchased the property, and renamed it the Route 66 open space, adding it to, the city's expansive land, conservation effort. Little Beaver Town, exists today, as nothing but an empty lot, of curious concrete foundations, littered with broken glass, and unchecked cacti, waiting like the highway it sits on, for another chance at glory. But, the next time someone tells you, that you'll shoot your eye out, or, that they want an official Red Rider BB gun, you can tell them, there once was a place, where Red Rider himself, brought law and order, to a small, New Mexico amusement park. <laughs>